That's the Hyatt, where well, a welcome up the hoop wall. That's me and Rick with, the, uh, with our first truck, just picked it up from the airport. What year was the this event? Do you remember? Probably 72, I think, something like that. Mm. 72. Um, moving on, that's this got to be uh, Luther, Ian. This oh, is that, that, these are these puppet things. Yeah. Look at the puppet and old, old grey, old beige Mac. I don't know where that came from. That's the Eurus Theatre. Oh. That's Pop 2, which was in France we did, and that's Buff's kit. We'd had all the blacks, it was a black kit. He wanted it in natural wood. I had to have the entire thing stripped and repolished. Prime, did did you oil drink. yourself up like the, um, like yes, the chip, yeah. and chip and chip Yes, right. definitely. It looks like it. Definitely chip fat. Yeah. Uh, that's what I meant by the smoke and everything. It was like everywhere. That's Luther, you can see his legs. That's Morgan and Pete. Pete, and those are those damn puppets again. They were just everywhere, but the smoke was everywhere as well. <laughs> it is like a spinal tap. Actually, it's not quite as bad as those uh, Stonehenge things, the spinal tap, but these things were, these things were decided. They lowered for that. I mean, they, 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 running on stage and looking after things when you've got puppets and oh, wires all over. That's well, the, the puppeteers were up in the gods. They were right up here somewhere working the puppets. They were proper puppets. Each one had a puppeteer on it who were hanging on the metal frames above. It's very weird. That's Buff drumming furious. That is the dummy wearing an appalling coat that I'm ashamed to say was mine, which was in a kind of candy floss velour. Uh, that's Luther and Stan on the roof of the Hyatt with two very nice young ladies who uh, we both liked. They're probably both grandmothers by now. Yeah, and they both wouldn't put out. And that... Not for you, maybe. Oh, really? <laughs> And that's Luther for some unknown reason. We wrapped him in sheets. <laughs> he wanted to be mummified. Ah, that one's a good one. Oh, that's no, that's Peter in his, look. in his underpants with his boots on. He wanted that shot for posterity. It's a pity he's not come out that clear. Tell me when I can open my eyes. I can open your eyes now. That's Pete. That's Blue Weaver. And for some reason, he's in a frock with a fake breast, which Pete is squeezing gently. I tell you, sexaholic. Anything goes. <laughs> And that is Ian with the classic perm. This was actually, I had to dig this out of the waste bin. As you see, it's still crumpled, but it was like a test shot. Yeah. You know, for something. But, and that's black gaffer tape wound around here, not leather straps. All right. But they wanted him to look a bit bondage. Uh, that's me looking fantastic on the um, original Mott Wagon, the first one that Rich turned up with, the Red Beast. Mm, getting nicked, yes, one dollar for every mile an hour over the limit. New Jersey Turnpike. It's 120 first miles an hour. Expensive day. Well, that's... We were in a hurry. And that's the young lady who turned up in our room. And this car she rode, a Cadillac, driven by a guy. It's got the cow horns on the front, rifles on the side, mm. and it had a fully decorated saddle set in the middle covered in silver dollars, which she was riding on, on the open top. You'd expect to see a couple of hippies impaled on the horns, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, she was definitely a treat for the eyes when we woke up, but then we did wonder how she got in. That was me a hundred years before, and that was uh, Mick Hintz. He was with Mop way back in the time of silence, and he was living with me at the time. That's me and Rich in Wales. Mm. We were up in, the, up in the Welsh mountains, and these were just some of the ladies who came from Herefordshire. That's Jane. Yeah, and that one? Caroline. Caroline Ridley. If you're out there, Caroline. She is. She is. She's out there somewhere. That was me and when I smoked in, back in the old days, before we realised, with Mother Hooper t-shirt. That was a lighting guy, yeah? You remember him? Don't Hi remember his name. Hippie. Oh, it's the sea. No. This was going over the ferry to... Where were we going? Scandinavia? Stockholm? Yeah. Early European. Who's this? That was a young lady, Inga, who spent some time with me. We met, we did North Shopping and Uppsala University together. What, and you and her? Oh, well, the band were there and everybody else, and Fairport Convention. And they oh, jammed till two o'clock in yeah, the morning, yeah. and we were so pissed. Who's this? That's my cousin, Lorna, and we were in Jacksonville, Florida. She lived there, and I was so hot for this lady. Yeah, she it was, looks like you're keeping it in the family. She was 10 years older than me, at least, but she was very tasty in those days. Absolutely, but I got nowhere. She always remembered me in my school uniform <laughs> and short trousers. 
She just could not get that vision out of the twinkling knees and the school cap. Such a shame. Such a she missed out there. Who was that? You remember him? Don't know. It's one of the American crew, obviously from the length of hair. And that was Manny's slipper shirt. You remember Manny's yep. in New York? Who is your friends? Right. Right. <laughs> that's the whole crew, the American crew. As I said, I know him. That's me, and that, and that, Bob Z or whatever his name. Is that, is that me? I think that could be. I would say I need my glasses, but I haven't got them with that, me. <clears throat> that sweater. You like that, did you? Uh, no. <laughs> stripes. Did your mum knit it? Stripes were cool. Stripes were very cool in those days. Did, you, did your mummy knit it? Huh? Did your mummy knit that for you? I couldn't possibly say. She may well have. My, my mum knit. That's us. This is us. This is the two good guys. This is Long Island, New York. As you can see, it was bleak. It was hell. We're both in sheepskins, and we're both, well, you can tell from which we were frozen. Long Island, New that's all we could see at Long Island. That's an intimate shot of me urinating. Uh, with a microscope, all is revealed, but we don't want to yeah, go there. Urinating without a penis, that's interesting. Uh, that was Mick Hintz took that shot. And this is the European tour. In the dirt, you can just make out Phil's mobile kitchen, because we used to cook all our meals as we travelled from gig to gig because the, the big truck brought the equipment. We had two of these, didn't we? One, one for the lights and one for the... And that's Eddie, Fast Eddie, the uh, Scotsman, who is... A, Eddie Richard. Eddie Richardson. Richards and Fast Eddie Richards. Yeah. He was a nice guy, very nice. Uh, tell them, who are they? Who are they? God's gift. God's gift. It was the glamour shot around the back of the Eurus Theatre. We both got our mock T-shirts. We thought we'd have really good T-shirts made over there in America. They were crap. Mm. We'd seen so many fantastic shirts. Everyone bought T-shirts in America. They t did these things for us. They looked like they just got mot knots hot or something on them. And is that's that, you. Is that me? That's a solo shot of you in a hotel room, looking St a Stelios Hotel. Could have been easy lamp standard. It's probably easy T-shirt. Could be, but it's probably Holiday Inn. I mean, Don't like the no, colour scheme. No, no. You didn't match with anything in that. And that is all she wrote. 